Hey guys, welcome to another amazing episode of Fishing with Alice and Justin from DIY Kaya DIY. He's getting blood all over my brand new boat. <laughs> amazing up his $7,000 boat, man. With fish line and blood. That's, that's how we do it here. Don't forget to go ahead and subscribe to him. He does amazing DIY kayak projects. And uh, yeah. We should do this vlog style. Hey guys, welcome to another amazing episode of fishing with um, Bob <laughs> and Kayak Peter. DIY. Uh, <laughs> I thought you changed your name. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, today we're gonna go and we're gonna do something. We don't know yet, but we're gonna do something. You'll see. <laughs> I woke up earlier today and I thought that I was gonna have more time and just put in the drinks and stuff in the car. It took about 30 minutes and then I'm putting the car out now. So everything takes longer than what you think. We're gonna send away some of the kayaks pretty soon and hopefully we'll replace them by other ones. Guys, I forgot to show you guys the clicking, turning the car on and all the stuff, so click it, car off, car on, and drive, happy? All right, so 419, 420, so it, that means it took us 50 minutes to get in the car. 10 minutes was necessities, that's 40 minutes. 10 minutes was the kayak probably. And putting all the beverages and stuff in here took 30 minutes, should have done that yesterday. Thank you. You're welcome, have a good night. So, of course, daily rituals. Go buy McDonald's, get some coffee and bagels, whatever. It's five. It is 5.40 right now, we still have about an hour and a half of driving. We're going to Cape Cod today, we're going to meet up with Justin from Kaya DIY. We're going to do some crazy stuff. We're going to go fishing on the Hobie Island tandem and um, some other stuff. Stay tuned. First stop after more than two hours driving, uh, it feels good just to stop and uh, lower the window and look outside. Miami is not the only place where there is traffic. This is Cape Coral and that traffic line that you see there has been, it's long been driving through here for the last two or three minutes going at about 40 miles an hour and that line kind of slowed down right here but it was like one car after the next from over there all the way here so uh, we're not the only ones who have traffic Ooh. It doesn't go oh, one yeah, anymore. No, I just wanted to see how far. Two rotters, good. I guess it will work. You know, that trailer will, but. We just drop it down on the two yeah. on the front and here and over yeah, there. I mean, if you do it there, it's definitely not going to slide back because it has. It has those has things, yeah. And we need to put something here so it doesn't get messed up with it. There's a button? Here, so it doesn't get all crazy. Scuffed up. Yeah. Oh my god, it's huge. There you go. And how you... And then the bottom, the bottom, top to top. Yep. Too much flexibility, I don't think you could flip it with the pontoon. So like if you're standing here, you're gonna flip, uh, put force on the bungees. Yeah. That's the, the thing. You may just break the bungees, but... These are our shear pins here. Mm -hmm. They're meant that if you hit something with the outrigger, yeah. it shears the pin and you have a backup pin here. Right. So, Hello. nope, you don't have 
any shrimp? Darn. There's shrimp? Huh? No, they're that, all out of shrimp. Yeah, they're frozen? just on our way, probably within the next half hour. Within the next half hour? Anything frozen? Yep. Okay. There you go. No, just one, just one. Oh, you want to, oh, big fish, you want to get that? Yeah. Yeah, let's get it. Right. Thing is huge. Yeah. So, wow. Here. You can do. A, you got a video? Yeah. Yeah. It's recording. So this is how light it is. Wow. It's it just needs to keep a balance. Guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is not light at all. It's just that he's super strong. Yeah. There you go. That was the critique I think I got from people with uh, with stabilization videos. They thought I just was like some gymnast or something. Hovey Island. Man, for a guy who made a video about why people don't like Hovey kayak, he sure uses a lot of Hovey products. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, man, we're gonna kill it with this. All right. All right. You're recording? Yeah. Oh, man, this is sweet. Okay. All right. Uh, I need a beer. <laughs> Um, deploy the, yep, you can de deploy the dagger board, which yeah. is on the side there. This? It's like a, kind of like a floor shifter on a car. This? Yep, you just pull that back and then it locks down. So now we got a big, uh, water sticking down in the water. Here? Yep. Like on this hole? Yep, just clip it in. Uh -huh. Just like that. Woohoo! Oh, shoot. This is gonna be crazy. Much, um, unfurled, that's what you call it when you move the sail out. Ah. Now we need to pull the black line, so just go ahead and leave that there and pull the black line. And we need to tighten up um, the, the sail and pull give the... it its shape. All right, I'm pulling it. And there's a uh, keep pulling it, yeah. Hey, make sure you have the brown line out of the cleat so that it can unfurl for further. It's out of the cleat. Yep, so pop it out of the cleat, and then when you pull, you should be able to uh, get the sail to start taking shape. Yeah, it's out of the cleat. Okay, you don't need to pull it much further. Okay. Yeah, that's, that should be plenty. In uh, fact, we might be able to actually let out just a hair. Yeah, because the... Because I can actually control that line the go, for me too. The GoPro... Uh, it keeps hitting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was one of the things that I was trying to say is, if you're sitting in the front and you're really tall, you will have to duck occasionally when you're tacking back and forth. Alright, so guys, um, we are moving really fast and I'm not doing anything. That's how we do it here. I'm not pedaling. I am. Okay. Um. We can though. No. If I'm pedaling and you're pedaling, watch this. Okay, let's put the let's put the the, the miles per hour. Six miles. Uh, it felt like a fish. Yeah, it might. It was be. grass. Um, we get that probably out over here when we're trolling. It might be a little bit deeper water, so we don't have to worry about grass. We technically need to be more left, but we'll just have to pedal through this, and then we can uh, adjust our our tack angle. Yeah, they're always close to that. Yeah, though. Alright, uh, nice fish, bro. Yeah, man! Oh. 
Okay, here. Let me uh. uh oh no no no! Turn that way, that way, that way, that way. Okay, just play your drag, right? Thirty pound test. Yeah, you don't want to let let the drag do the work here. I hope it's not your line. I don't. I don't think so. No, it's not my line, from what I feel. Oh. I'm reeling mine in. It's pulling hard. This is crazy, guys. We have something. We don't know what it is. Yeah. It's no. No. no, uh, no. Oh. Oh. Yeah, we got dinner, Joe. We got dinner. Yeah. Whoa, we got a Spanish people giant one. Yeah, the Ooh. water's perfect temp for them too. Damn, oh, look at that, out. bro. Yeah. Ooh. You got a knife? Let's kill it. Look at the teeth. Yeah, oh, it's really good. Whoa, thumbnail. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to lose it. Now what's he doing? I don't know, it's a surgical scissors this year. There you go. There you go. Pass it off. <sighs> Can you... Oh. Bro, we got freaking dinner! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yeah! Woohoo! Caught that on a... Uh, what was it? Uh, the pinfish. A frozen pinfish that we had to get. Yeah, remember I told you when I'm gonna change your bait? Ah, uh, we're getting slimed. Yeah, so I'm using surgical scissors. <laughs> Stainless steel though, so they work pretty well. And uh, look at that, guys. The thumbnail. Yeah. The bloody thumbnail, so we get demonetized. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we have to worry too much about a flip test if we look at this. It's not going to flip under normal conditions. These are insane. Like a, a first person perspective. Oh. Dolphin right there! Wow! Whoa. So, oh, there. Porpoise. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we should take the pedals out, right? Um, right now, let's see what the depth is. You could probably pop your pedals out and we can use five pedals. The nice thing is with this kayak, we have twin pedals. And so, like, he can have his in reverse, I can have mine uh, in forward, and we can kind of stay positioned next to uh, some of the bridge columns. We can use it like as a, almost like a, Anchor. you ever see those GPS trolling motors, that like anchoring position? <laughs> we need to get that fish out of the hole, and we need to, uh, we need to do some cooking, because him and I are hungry. Super hungry. We are going to fillet the kingfish. Got a nice Spanish right here. Kaya DIY is making sure we get a really good fillet. I do love this uh, portable fillet table. This works out pretty well. Yeah, perfect. Because I like these trays. Look get all that meat. All right, so let's season it, bro. Throw that in there. Okay. Let's go ahead and do a. Uh, oops. Whoa. 
Oops. <laughs> nah, we'll just season him too. <laughs> oh my god, I threw too much. That's, th that's what happens when you're in the wild, man. You throw. When you're in the wild, you get wild. Oh yeah. Oh my god, I, I'm I'm destroying this fish. Look at that bugger. Right there's the stomach. All right, guys, so we are going uh, putting the pieces of fish on the pan. We're going to dip, well, pan, pan fry it. I thought I prepared for this, but uh, I guess I didn't because I didn't bring the flour or anything like that or an egg. So this thing may turn into a ground beef uh, fish. It's all good. We are surviving. We're surviving. <laughs> I'm gonna coat it with. Um, now we need something to turn it. We need we need stuff to drink. We need stuff to drink. All this right, is a, go ahead. This and is a sin here. We uh, we don't have any stuff to drink here. Let's support both. Um. Yeah, why not? I'll <laughs> I'll get it now. Let me. <laughs> Guys, welcome to the portion of the catch and cook. We basically, we destroy the fish that we caught. We uh, turn it into tiny little fillets. Half of the fish is on the water. There's one of the Spanish max. We're using uh, this nice little cutting board here. Nice portable one. I think it needs more time cooking. Oh bro, this thing is gonna be good. The juca. Okay. Put it. Uh, okay. Where are we gonna Ooh, eat? Nice. Yeah. Uh, we can flip down the tailgate. Oh, look at that steak. Woo. Ooh. Yes. Yes. <laughs> All right, so I guess we could. <laughs> yeah, watch out for the birds, though. If you walk back and forth, the birds will. Uh, I got utensils. We got that. Yep. Uh, like, cut that piece out. Maybe... Oh, this still, that still works. Like, cut it out. You want to be the taste taste taster? Oh shit. Um, there we go. Let's go ahead and you want that one or you want this one? Um I can take the one on the right. Alright. There is no food without coke. <laughs> Doesn't get any better than surf and turf. Alright guys, so let's dig in. Ooh. Chef, what we have on the menu today? Uh, well, we have some Spanish mac, we have some steak, we got some rice, and we got some yuca. This is a little bit foreign to me. I'm actually not familiar with these. I come from Iowa where we're just meat and potatoes. So I'm kind of I'm kind of learning all these uh, different ways of cooking. Awesome. He's educating me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's dig in. Hope you like it. Spanish back. Oh, it's just flaky. So nice. Mm. That's good. That was really good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's try that yuca. It's not potato. So, what is yuca kind of like? Cassava, I think it's called. Good. Now I'm gonna have to go over to Miami and we're gonna have to see what we can pick up over there. We'll take the TI over there. We have to. And the keys. <clears throat> oh. The keys trip would be awesome. Mio, we just finished eating and we need to clean this up because we wanna keep fishing. We don't want the authority to close our fishing spot. Pack in, pack out. Yeah. Let's go ahead and fast forward this thing. 